Microphone check, one, two, skip the bullshit, you already know the Gemini Scorpio podcast. Oh my God, episode 36 is underway, the whole gang is here, plus more. Um, Let's see if I can get everybody named. I'm not going right? to help you either. So, Hila Bay is in the building, first and foremost, shout out to Bay. Uh, Alexander LeBlanc is in the building, there. Ms. Greenaway is in the building. What up? All right, let's get to it. Um, We got... Isaiah in the building. We got Joe in the building. We got Lante in the building. We got Wyman Productions in the okay, building. Okay. We got Tyrone in the building. We got Gigi Melrose in the building. We got my guy Cheatham in the building. We got my guy Gio the Leo in the building. And that's the gang. That's the gang. Dang, why Gio the Leo come? I mean, that sound all drippy. Mine was all dry. Gio oh the Leo. Leo. I'm calling myself Gio the Leo now. That's just not <laughs> <way>. <laughs> Right, Miss <laughs> Greenaway, the Scorpio. Hey. You already know, double the whammy. <laughs> Big Scorpio. Whammy. Big Scorpion vibes on the double, fucking double podcast. Double Scorpio. Double Scorpio. <laughs> no. Duo Scorpio. Look at it, look, look. Scorpio no. duo. Hey, the Scorpio duo. duo is in the building. In the Gang. fucking building. Gang. Gang. Squat. Squat, squat, squat. Squat. I don't like nothing about it. Um, Why? Sorry. It just sounds like double. We, we do business, bro. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> double double. De- devilness but whatever um how was hey, y'all week you know Wendy. how we go um <laughs> the week well first of all shout out to my baby girl it was her birthday on wednesday Happy it day, has my, my. been a long ass week you feel what i'm saying we done hit new york did a little helicopter ride we done had a sleepover where they ran the house crazy we did dance contests i done had to cash people out today because i owed them their money for their wins yeah, you did. yeah, I did. You had to. Yeah, so I had to give them their cash. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm poor. You feel what I'm saying? But it's okay. Baby girl's happy. You giving away? Wait, you giving away money? They had a dance contest. You ain't talking to me about that. Come on, trick, the pot. trick, trick, love the kids. All right. You you went to Atlanta. <laughs> I didn't. You know, I took it out the pot. Sorry. Oh it no, that's your kids. money. It's for the kids. It's for the do it for the kids. No. Yes, uh, Amaya definitely enjoyed it. How you think she? You think she enjoyed the birthday? Oh yeah. First of all, she's an adrenaline junkie, so she loved the helicopter. She was up there acting like, hey, we I, had our feet hanging off, like had, had our feet dangling off the helicopter. I was scared she was gonna fall off, so I kept being a mom, and she was like, mm. I'm not gonna lie. So, when I first put my feet off, the wind blew me when we were going <laughs> over the water, and I was like, oh yeah. I thought, look, okay. No, I ain't gonna lie. So when I dangle my feet, like, <laughs> when I dangle, I try, so when I put my feet, not say when I dangle nah, my, I put my feet. I put my feet out the helicopter, and I they try to dangling. like, try to like, you know, make them <laughs> it do make this. you scared. For, for the, for the, the force was not like the wind was not yeah, rocking. Yeah, the force <laughs> the wind was not rocking. I'm like, oh, all right, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just I'm wait. Chill, like, but I got the one where I went, hee hee. Right, she put her little toes out and put them back in. But no, for real, when you put your feet out, the wind was so strong. I got scared like it was going to blow me off or something, so I had to put it back on. So it was cool, you know. I'd shout them out, but they ain't paying me. So, well, her. next time they will be, but. Okay, and then we'll shout them out. Yeah. So other than that, the week was a great week, man. It was. I'm tired. I'm not going to lie, but I'm up. I'm here, but I'm tired. Um, Not looking forward to going back to work because I was off all week last week. Shout out to Cash Land. That bucket had looked good, you know sis. Shout out to Cash Land on the bucket. They are yeah. paying and they are and they are <laughs> shout out to Cashland. Hey, I want we the official Cashland ambassadors. ambassadors okay? Period. Shout out to Cashland. Yeah. Yeah. We see you, John Cash. Yeah. So, other than that, week was great. Who's next? Go, oh, nah, go, my, go, 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 go. Yeah. My week was lit. Next. My week was lit. Uh, it was a reflective week, but uh, the word of the day was gratitude. I love think it. I, I was yes. really spending a lot of it. time being. Grateful, grateful for everything that's around me, the podcast, yes. family, and all that's that stuff. That's beautiful. And really understanding my path and my purpose yes. and how I've been. Oh, it's been so reflecting. Good. Like, look, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about yeah, to shut a tear, Alex. Aww. I'm I grateful love, for all y'all, though. I, I, I love, love everybody a cancer, y'all. <laughs> I love a cancer. Hey, you know, we water signs. Exactly. You know, that's a gang. Work. We drip. Look, look. You see, I just feel the air coming in. Look, look. Yeah. Look, look, Gemini. Look, look, look. <laughs> He's about, we about to start a fire, <laughs> y'all. It's hot as air. Hot as air. Right. All right, Jasmine, how was your week? How was your week, guys? <laughs> so, my week. Uh, hold on, I feel like I got my eyelashes on. I do not. Okay. My week was, um, it was exhausting. I'm not going to lie. I'm so tired right now. Um, but Gigi got me out the way with the glam, so hopefully I don't look tired. Shout out to Gigi Shout on our faces. But um, it was it was eventful. I had a little little sinus infection had me down for a few days but you know we went to new york we had a great she was time COVID free. She did get i did tested. i did get tested i am covid free okay. so yes God. it was actually so you, have to, you have to say that yeah, because yes, you have to say that yeah because i do i did not have covid right. i did get 
COVID <laughs> tested and it came back negative. So I'm COVID free. And I'm so grateful to God for that. I'm with you. Gratitude. I Gratitude had is the word you know, of the day. Everybody I know is healthy, COVID free. All my yes. friends and family, they're feeling good. Everybody's loved. Everybody's up. It's up like it's stuck. It's up like it's stuck. And I'm, and I'm grateful. I, yeah. and you, know what, and you know how I could tell she did a good job on y'all makeup? Because like usually like when people get their makeup done, it'd be like one color and then like another <laughs> color. Unless she did y'all next too, but no. <laughs> She did we good. Match. <laughs> we match. I had a total neck on, so let's see. Wait. <laughs> nah, she did good. 100 nah. degrees also. They just no, it's down. not. It's, it's actually cooling five. down. So Period. be careful, y'all, because right. the weather's starting to play. Yeah, because summer's about to be the over. Indian I got weather the is in. Thing got a turtle neck with the sleeve is done. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because I'm hot. Because I'm hot and cold. Where you get that from? Gang. Oh, shout out to Shop Blanc. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out to Mimi over at Shop Blanc Love. I'm coming for um, some pieces. Yes. Uh, she got some fire pieces, and I love that she's black-owned, and they actually have quality things. Also, my lashes are also Shop Blanc Love. She's fire. I fuck with Shop. Oh, and shout-out shout out to Lash Moi on the lashes. They're located in Rui Crofton in Annapolis. Yeah. So if you want your lashes done and you're in the DMV area, go see Julie. Tell her Jasmine sent you, or you could tell her Miss Dunaway sent you. Right, Meanwhile. Coming up a little bit. Oh, and shout out to Jasmine, Styles by Jasmine on the ponytail, because the ponytail got me feeling like I'm just dead here. I've arrived. I've arrived. I'm here. Okay. Hey, Jesus, you might get you. You want to pull up? It's a lot of endorsement going on right now. You fix my lashes, because he over here is on my lash. It's like it's coming up. I'm stressed. It's like, it's like. Who's next? Like that us, though. Shout out to the team. Yeah, shout out to the game. makeup artist in here. I get to get fixed on set. I'm feeling real bougie. Can, can we like show like the team one day? Like one day. I mean, no, no, no. That's what no, we're not going to do. We don't, not gonna we don't do? show the team because okay. they doing that job. Because okay. earlier, let me tell you how I try to like help out and shit. And niggas <laughs> like, yo, get like Gio was over here like Julian. G, what the fuck ever? That's just both of his names together. He like, yo, watch out, bro. Like, no, G I ain't gonna lie. The fuck, like Gio spicy. and Leo being here. He was like, nah, cause the sound gotta then, be right, and that's. But then no, I think I was trying to do that's something. That's what Jay wanted. And so Wyman is like, go. yo, bro, you gotta move, bro. I'm like, oh, all right. right. So when it's time for me to talk, I want to see nobody <laughs> in the camera. <laughs> nah. I want to hear nobody in the background, cause this is my fucking job now. Pretty yeah, yeah I respect the cool. job, doing your job. Respect me, Thank motherfucker. You, you know what I'm saying? Was I lying? It was. I told you, I know a little something, so that motherfucker hanging like it's about to, <laughs> it's hanging for, he was for dead to, life. He was about to pull yeah, it, Gigi. He was going to pull it off, Gigi. I'll try like, it off, Gigi. Just hanging like it's hanging for dead life. Why he tried to play with me? He was going to pull it off, G. Mm -mm. It's hanging like our see, feet on the helicopter. She's the only one that's going to get some camera time right now, because you know what I'm saying? Shout like, out to Gigi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. shit was, that shit was hanging, right? No, am I? It wasn't hanging, it was lifting. It's a fucking difference. And let it dry. It's Mind still like a motherfucking spaces in that motherfucker. Like, it's like you playing jump rope. All right, whatever. I'm sorry. No, no, don't take it off. Nah, fuck off. All right, so um, let's let's get into the podcast. First, of all, I always wanted to ask this: Why nobody ever asked me how was my week? You know what, Jay? How was your week? I don't know. All right, into the podcast. Let's <laughs> <I know. laughs> get into the podcast. No, 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 Jay. How was nah, your yeah, week? Nah, yeah, I want you. I want to know. What'd you do this week? Go ahead and unpack. For the world, what's your, what's your and I don't really need to unpack. You know what I'm saying? Everybody then, needs then to. Then he's gonna nah, talk about it. Asks How me, was your nobody week, bro? Nobody asks me. Nobody cares. I mean, what? it's only been 36 weeks. It's okay. Okay, come on. <laughs> it's like, all right, whatever. No, no, uh, no. We, my we, week we, was no, no, no. We're, we're waiting. Come I was on. about to. Say. Oh, I thought she was gonna jump in. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do things different this week, right? We're gonna we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna. <laughs> Because that's what he do do every going week. Left. He the only, <laughs> he only one get to switch the podcast whenever he wants. All right, Jay. How was your week? How was your week? My week was pretty decent, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I had to, I, I went on a helicopter ride, which I don't fuck with heist at all. I had to sit yeah. in the front. He conquered his fears. Yeah, he I mean, sat with the pilot. I mean, he definitely I wouldn't say conquer conquer my fears. Like, I wouldn't say he conquer definitely my sat fears. with the pilot. I wouldn't say conquer my fears, though, because, like, I just don't fuck with heist. I don't think I'm scared. Is it? Is it a difference? Like, yeah, I feel you. you. It's like you don't want to be up there. No, I don't fuck with. Me but neither. I've okay. done it before. Like my friends, like, yo, can you get on a roller coaster with me, bro? I'm like, all right, whatever. Whole time I'm still faced. Like, you ever had a little <laughs> the princess in the middle of it? Like everybody, like, ah, I'm like. But inside, no. with, like inside, you, no, I'm not. Is it? No, <laughs> your like, stomach inside, don't drop. You don't get the butterflies. Nah, I'm like, so I don't fuck crazy, with this. Crazy, because I'm always scared of heights, but I'll do it. I love like, it. I love, I love it. an adrenaline Remember that time rush. we went to Hershey Park? We kept getting on that I mean, fucking drop. Like, like kids, we kept getting on it. We have a problem. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. 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 for me. Why would you go on a ride that just drops straight down? It's like, it's I don't it's understand. It's like, like it's the adrenaline. No, the adrenaline. Down. Every you know time crazy? it hits the same. It hits the same, and you never know when it's coming. So we up there talking. Yeah, like, this and then is it's like, like ah! <laughs> <laughs> and every time like, I think my legs are gonna break because they're gonna go through the ground. Yo, my heart beat at my brain. Like it just be feeling crazy. So they exactly it's just like woo. Heartbeat at the you I was have, trying to you, figure out like you heart, have to get on the right uh, to understand like where my brain used to be. No, like it goes up or something. A brain that's where a, my heartbeat used to be. That's a bar right there. Damn, I had a yeah. heartbeat where my credit. brain used to be. I want credit. I want credit. Damn. That's a bar. I want credit. Aww. Okay. I just want to say because right. Jay likes to steal my slogans and use them as his own. All right. Um. But yeah, after that, I had to um host in Atlanta, and pretty good. Six feet hush. It was pretty dope. Uh. Yeah. I went there. I did my thing, and I left. We back here. How was Atlanta? Just had to work. I went there, hosted, and came back. Wow, you trying to listen? What's up I'm with you? I'm asking, how was Atlanta? Why are you looking at me like yeah, you're we, crazy? Yeah, we just segue the whole conversation. Like we just Atlanta was lit. Right our business. That's good. I just, I was just asking. Cause you was giving me a little attitude while I was in Atlanta. Oh like. my god! No, you were giving. Jay was showing off. Went to Atlanta one little time, two little times, and started cutting up. Word. That leads us right into the podcast. Wait, is Atlanta still wide open? Like oh, it's wide open. Wide, okay, it's wide open. Oh, is it it's now? Like a thought. I mean, it was wide open is when it? I went. <laughs> like a, legs all over. Yeah, everywhere. Why, Atlanta's wide, wide open. Fuck open. Big, hole. <laughs> Big hole. Like loosey goosey. Yeah, like no mask still. No, no mask. Niggas is wild. No out mask. There. Yeah, no mask. Um, <laughs> let's get into the podcast, man. Shout out. Let's get it. Where we all at right. With it? So, my topic for today is. Why the fuck, I gotta add an extra, cause you know, why the fuck do men want so much credit for every th- everyday things they should do as an adult and want so much recognition or praise for it? And when women have to do so much more to come to that women criteria, mm-hmm. right? Meaning like, for example, we'll just throw the average stuff out. Like women are expected to clean the house, cook, clean, cook do this thing, whatever. You'll do it every day. And if a man does it twice, it's like, I did that on Thursday. It's like, okay, I do it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Like, and they like, you don't appreciate me. I just cleaned the kitchen two weeks ago. And it's like, okay, I just did it two minutes ago. Like, you, got you know what I mean? I'm just giving, I'm just talking. Sure. I get something on your chest. I mean, let me know. I'm just, it's the podcast. We're here for it. Stay focused. I'm saying, I feel you though, know. sis. I feel you though, because I feel like we are superheroes. Women are expected oh, to do, do it all. We got to do the emotional side. We got to do the domestic side. We have to even sometimes do the financial side. And it's just like, when do when does a man have to do what we do and, and it's work? Cons- and it's considered regular. Right. So oh, hold up. Right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Because so if a y'all, man y'all cleans the house, oh my goodness. Oh, because he cleaned the house. He cleaned, it's a special, he, it's a special day. Oh right. no, like we do it every day. Every single day. Both of y'all. So we the villains. Because they said it's, they're superheroes. So we must be the supervillains. No, so it's what like, I will I say. I'm I'm just saying. I understand. To be honest. I okay. like that. Woman, Thank you. I understand. Woman, I don't understand. But women are superheroes. Point blank period. Okay. But this statement is just all the way wrong. Like Okay. You always, women always like, don't generalize me. I ain't girls. But y'all do it all the time. All right. Yes. So since we saying that, first of all, ain't nobody looking for no recognition. That's a woman trait. Women always want, even before when she let the hookah, yeah, give me my recognition. Give me my credit. Like, niggas don't give a fuck about Because we no don't credit. fucking get it if we don't. But, like, I hey, got to do 30,000 things. Like, build even though farm. Even though we're capable, don't get it twisted. We make it look easy, but it is it's hard. hard work. It is, and y'all just help me out every time. Y'all give me the layup because I literally just said it. Like, uh, what about it? We're not asking for credit or recognition. Well, how come so you guys fine. just okay? Why, why aren't you guys expected to just do why it? it why? Why do we have credit? to do it? Why aren't you guys right. expected, why is it expected to just but it's do not, it? It's like if you guys do it, it's not expected. Because if we of don't you. do it. Let's it be real. It'll be go, it'll go undone for a while. while. And then you might be like, all right, let me do this. After a while, because it, it's getting up? crazy. Uh, okay. okay. But the thing is, 
That's two separate questions. All right, well then the change. The question okay. says, right. why do men want so much credit? The first, all right. the first okay, so then let's let's okay, let's let's the podcast all the time. Let's go to the actual. Why real don't Reddit. men do the everyday oh, oh, oh. shit that women have to do? Can my man answer? Can now you answer, answer the question? <laughs> Fair. Go why ahead. don't we do it? Yes. I don't Alex, know. Alex, what's shit? I can't give you the. I, now that's so, a real so, question. So okay, so if we stop doing it, then what? If you stop doing it then eventually we will have to do it. Okay, it so not... then let's just, I'm going on strike. I ain't doing shit no more. I'll go with you, sis. Right. Well, Only so problem I... is, ain't no man in my house, so <laughs> I can't, can't go on strike. Every time, hey, look, I took the, all the shit I did yesterday, though. I worked, I worked out, I did so much, and then the one little thing that made me feel like I'm that nigga is when I took the trash out. Every time I take the trash out, I feel like a chest here grows. It's like, <laughs> Out of that, all the things I that I do, lie, I just took taking the trash, the trash out. out. I the same. Yes, yeah, so every time oh, I take the trash I out, I feel like a, a hair so grows wait, on my do chest. You give, do you give recognition to when someone else takes the trash out? Like do you? My daughter, yeah, I'll be like, good luck. Thank you. If I don't have to ask <laughs> You're for responsible. If I, I love have, you. If I don't good have luck. to ask. Because okay. mama's tired. So, but this is That's what, hard. So what I'm trying to say is, too, so why is it like a crit- criteria or that double standards where niggas like, you know, I don't want no bitch who don't cook, no clean. Right. But if you get a nigga that don't cook, no clean, it's don't like, don't take the trash out. I mean, that's a great point, but that's a double standard that's been around for longer than we've been around. So to answer the question, really, I don't know. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why. It's just like that. Just like you don't want a nigga that ain't going to be able so to then, t- take care of you or provide me? for you. But I so feel like... On, didn't on, but y'all still get away with it. Right. So because no. my thing is, I don't. what I don't understand is this, right? Last week we talked about how women subliminal, uh, excuse me, submissive versus defensive women, right? Mm-hmm. But that can't be a double standard. That can't just be. That's just what it is. That's just how it go. That's that's not, just that's just what it is. Yeah. Well, like, why is that not the same? That's it is the same because last week I asked you guys why are my right. my tell them no was, tell them what you really said. Yeah. My, why no. do we talk back? Right. Right. That was a mistake, first of all. Okay. And again, I said... Thank you for clearing that up. I cleared it up then. But okay. anyway, <laughs> I said, why aren't you guys as submissive? Or right. my question was, I wanted to... I was asking you for, for understanding. understanding. Okay, well, we want understanding. So why you don't you guys so, handle the right, same the responsibilities so I, I feel, as women? I feel like traditionally, when you look at like the, the man and a woman in the household over time, you had the, house, the housewife traditionally, and then you had the man was the working man. And he went, he provided for his family, went home, came back, and, you know, home-cooked meals. And it should but be because as, that's like a job at that as point. As life developed and you see women are stepping out and they're becoming breadwinners in the yes. household, it's like they picked up more. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the man at that So time, the man is not evolving. I don't want to say the man is not evolving. You, I mean, you're going to have to. Some men the are woman evolving. Has, because but the woman has evolved. That, for example, my father. Okay. Knows how to do everything that my mother does. So my father does too. I will give him that. So that's why I said we can't generalize when we say. But most but generalize generalize have when to. y'all say we have talk to. Back. We have to. We have to. That's not. Okay. It's like it's so like. Back. Okay. So I'm gonna say submissive. this. But our that fathers, you can't generalize our that fathers have to be the exception. But the rule is that most men do not take care of household responsibilities. Right. So it's to unfair. go to say what I was saying is, is not that like, I don't. The comparison isn't true, and I feel like. A lot of times, not, I mean, I say a lot of times, I feel like sometimes women just be making shit up in their own heads for their own convenience. Now we're generalizing again. Okay, all right, so fair. So I say that to say because last week, my question was literally, literally for understanding. Now it's like you saying, why can't it? Who why said it couldn't? What? You okay. just said, why can't it be the same? Like, who said it couldn't? My okay. question was, why aren't you? What? Let's let's look at a deeper route, or let's look at a deeper root of the situation to understand. Okay. And when and we now ask my, the question, okay, so we're off last week. Let's get back to this week. Now we're trying to find understanding, and not just I don't know. That's just what it is. It's just a double standard. What is the understanding? The understanding, first of all, right? He don't said, know. He don't right, know. Right, right. But so, my thing is, it's like it's no but. You know what it is. No, it's not no, no, you know what it is. So what? You know so what it is. Why can we get understanding? It's because like, well, I want it's because too. at the end of the day. As long as we keep doing it, they won't. That's but not no, but true. No, no, Hold but that's up. Not let's, true. Yeah. Let's, 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 let's let's break it down. You saying they y'all don't get understanding, but we supposed to get understanding. That's not but true. I, I I'm ask, talking about this specifically, not in general. But are we for talking this about specifically, I want understanding for so why we're is talk, it like so that. So if we're talking about this specifically, let's not bring up anything else. All right, so for I already this, said let, let's leave last right, podcast. So let's this, focus. So right for here. this specifically, right? Right. 
I'm saying I don't know. The second thing to that was this is something that's been around for longer than we have even been around. So to sort of break it down, I'm saying I don't know. Then Alex gave an answer, and we could have been like, you know what? All right. Maybe that's it. I understand okay, that. Okay, so how do we avoid frustration? Because the whole point of last week for you to get understanding, so obviously so we can understand how to communicate and learn to get through that, right? Yeah. So out of frustration, if I just get an answer that I don't know, how do I stop just, like, getting frustrated when it is happening? Acceptance. Because, okay, but even with acceptance, mm. there's understanding. Like, I have to understand yeah. what I'm accepting. I can't just, I don't have to just Because you want to know why we snap off at y'all, and it's because we are we're exhausted. Like when I'm exhausted, I'm not as nice as I am when I'm not exhausted. Maybe if you guys picked up some of the slack, we wouldn't be as exhausted. Like I feel We're sometimes like, back. sometimes I feel like, damn, did I have to Found go it. off like that? And it's like, nah, fuck that. I'm going off like this that is, because I do everything. This is a great conversation. And I feel like we could have had this conversation because you saying that makes sense. And I would be like, you know what? I understand that. So if you're snapping or you're not being as submissive, because you feel like I'm not holding up my end of the bargain, then I can be like, you know what? Maybe I need to hold up my end of the bargain so you won't be as snappy. So wow, con this okay. conversation is okay. fucking the, excellent. The, the so conversation is excellent. But will there be any human. change? Except we're human. So like, then you like, if it does just happen to a snap, you and you just you're never gonna just understand. You're gonna be like, you could have just said that. But human nature is like, I'm tired. I'm just gonna snap. I'm not always gonna. Nobody's always gonna be like, you know what? I'm doing all this. I'm doing that. And even when we do do that, sometimes niggas be like, bro, I'm not trying to hear that shit yeah, right I now. Yeah, I know. So, it's like, what? Like, one, I don't understand. One, what it is, is we have too many excuses. Because it's not human nature. That's just in oh, a but, black community But culture. it could be, it's just double standard. I don't get that. It, no, it is I a double standard. I don't get that. But it don't wait, make it right, though. But if, why is double standard a thing, but not human nature? Human nature is I don't a thing. get that. It so, is. but then why is it? Why is double standards not an excuse, but human nature is? Double standard is an excuse. Okay, but what's so I don't understand that. What I'm saying is double standard is an excuse and human nature. Uh, but so, you didn't say that when I, you just said that. All I'm saying is say it for both, because all you said was human nature is an excuse, but you didn't say it when you brought up double right, because standard. Because you're, you're you're giving it as an excuse of saying, you know what? It's human nature to snap on somebody. No, it's not. So when you said, well, that's just the way it is. It's double standards. Then it's an excuse. Right, and so, I said okay, no. So okay, what I said, but all, also before I that, I, I also said you can't generalize everybody because that's not me. So I can What's say, I'm, I'm not that guy. I clean no, up. That? I don't clean up. So no. I okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask a question. Hold up, hold up, hold up, because we're going to put it all out. I'm trying to tell you, first of all, first of all, I was, I spent the night over here this weekend. So let me tell you, okay, after all that she did this week for Amaya's birthday, right? Uh-huh. Now, granted, I know what you're about to say. Well, nah, I was speak, working. Please just speak. Did you work this week? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Not this week. Okay. So Not then this I can't week. say I that. Know. No. Because I was going to no, say, I if you work worked this week. This week however, however, okay. through working, that's how all this got planned. That's how all this got done. And I still right. got to go back to work. And honestly, that is working. And then when I have to plan and then all these things. When you, when you finished everything, I watched you clean up everything. Right, okay. So, what do, so, oh. so you say that to say. I say that to say. You uh -huh. could have taken some time out to help her clean in between working. I watched you sit down. I know you were tired, and I, I you know, I understand being tired. But yeah, I watched you I'm sit listening. here and chill. I was tired too. I watched you sit here and chill. Okay. And I watched her clean everything up. And we worked. Me and her worked yesterday too. So you did work this week because we did a shoot, and that can be exhausting. And then she came home and she still cleaned up again. And then when I came in this morning, everything set up, and she looks the fuck good. She's here to talk for the podcast. Uh -huh. And she came and got you from the airport, made you feel like a king. Yes. And what did you clean up today? What did I clean up today? Yes. That's the thing right there. Thank you for asking me. Okay. I helped set up the whole entire fucking set. One, that's the what thing. A we team. Keep, no, what a it, team. Uh, what a goddamn team. I wish I had a team. That's it. So, so clean up after 13 girls. So, so should you guys get a cleaning so service? I, 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 I let you get some shit off. I let you get some shit off. Let me get some shit off. My thing is, we got to stop comparing because that's the thing. As soon as I came in here the other day, it was like, damn, somebody, you can't even, I can't even get a drink made. Or, damn, it's like, yo, stop comparing because I'm tired as fuck too. I'm not, hold up. I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I'm not well, damn, you can't do this. Uh -uh. Well, I'm, you can, 
So I can hear everything that I didn't do. Stop. I didn't say anything you, you didn't do. You just said, I'm about to guarantee it. I said, what does that have to do with me saying right, anything so, you didn't do? Nothing. So They're two separate things. So, okay, where, so what I'm saying is, I'm going to finish that. I'm going to try to drag that, and that's not even what I said. I said, I'm getting irritated. Nothing about you didn't do anything. So if you were going to be sassy, be correct. Please. Oh, just let me Thank know you. All right. Anyway, so again. <laughs> I let you get your shit up, right? Okay. The thing is, we're comparing. I'm not coming in the house saying, "Yo, I just worked all day. It's hot as fuck. I, I don't had nothing cooked for me." I'm not saying that. I'm not doing that. I'm not coming. Yo, you can't make me. A, I'm not doing that because we both are working, just like you said. She 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 took so, a whole day. So when you're on a team in sports, right? You've played sports before, yes, right? Yes, I have. Okay, which sports did you play? I played football, ran track. Okay, so let's just say football, for example. You're the quarterback, right? And your offensive line is not protecting you. Now, granted, but you could be a, now nah, let me finish. Let her rock, let her you rock. You could be a great quarterback, right? But if your offensive line is not protecting you, you're going to get sacked and you guys will end up losing. So if a quarterback complains and says, I need a better offensive line, I need some protection, is he wrong? Yes. Why, I mean, why I don't see wrong? quarterbacks do because it without why a line. Wrong? It's a way to do it. It's, it's not about, it's not like as a as a captain, I'm uh -huh. not coming to my line and saying, I need a better offensive line. I'm never doing that. So you really think that the quarterback never has said to the I'm not, to the to the coach of the I'm team, not saying I need never. a better O line. Like like we had to rewind. I never said never. I never said this applies to everybody. When you ask me. Okay, so let me make let me tie the analogy in. So my point is this. It's not that we're comparing, it's that we're trying to make the team a Super Bowl championship team. So in order to do that, sometimes you do have to criticize. So I'm not going to say comparison. I'm going to say criticize. In order to be your best, sometimes you need constructive criticism. Of course. All we're saying is in order for us to reach, if, in order for any couple to reach their maximum potential, there has to be balance. some sort of balance in 50 so if 50. It's like, balance, then so it needs to be corrected. It's not but it's always it's imbalanced. imbalanced. So you can't, I'm sorry, you cannot put a microscope on one time. So it's like when you, you, you brought up this but idea. But we're saying, okay, we're not even saying on one time. We're just saying in general because regardless of what occurred this weekend, last weekend. But that's the example that got brought up. Okay, so that was the example, and, and I'll give you that. But in general, most of the time, we, as women, handle all of the household responsibilities and we work. And so all we want to know is both. why aren't you guys doing both as well and again, as much as us? I'm saying I would. That's a fact. Like, I would never argue that when you start looking at individual things, then I'll be like, wait. But again, that's a fact as in, in the. This entire, my entire life, and probably way before me, and before the existence of my it was happening. it probably was happening. I can't answer that why, right? But again, what I will so say is- So what can you do to make it I, better for, so, for the men out there? So what I'm saying is, I do. I do my part in the house. See? So, See, men, no accountability. Hold okay. No, hold up. Okay. What? I'm about to say, I, I do my part in the house because I had conversations with my woman. Okay. You know what I'm saying? She's made it known that it wasn't fair, it was an imbalance, and do I you, had to accept do you, that. Do you, Sade, do you feel like it's balanced now? I feel like he tried. I don't think it's balanced. Okay. And I think, and I've told I told him that. Like, I feel like there's effort, of course. I will always give but credit But it's not corrected. Effort, but it's fair. not corrected. Wait, it, wait. That's why we're still so having a I have the question. All right. Progression, but, but what, it's not rocket science. What? We do it in its, it its instinct, it's, it's natural instinct. So why, what is it that, I'm, I'm confused, like what is it that you guys are not understanding or what is it that is making you Let's, incapable of just doing it? So first of all, I'm not incapable of nothing, but what I will okay. say is right. I've had the conversation with Sade and she said, yo, you aren't carrying your weight basically, right? Mm -hmm. She broke it down for a weight for me to understand. And okay. since then, I have been cleaning up. I clean up before I go to work. I make sure I straighten up. If anything, I mean, if you want to be technically want to be put a microscope on things through the last week, I probably straightened up the house more than she did. But it's like it doesn't. Okay. It, it, I, I'm that's like, okay. okay, all right. All right. All right. That's not fucking true. Okay. okay, that's not true. All right, that I, is I, not I, true. I, I've definitely. That's Nobody Same. said you didn't do anything. I know with nobody. Jay's, that's not cat, true. Cat master. I know when Jay is capping because he starts smirking. All right, so 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 what I will say is. It's definitely gotten way better. She might not want to give me recognition, but the question I is... I said better. I never said, I said, but it's still an imbalance. 
I never said that you don't get any recognition. I said it's just still imbalanced. But it does. I said so, you definitely try, and you definitely have right, given so effort since our last talk. So if I've tried since then, right? Like this is not right, racism. Not, this so, is not something that needs to be fixed over years and years and years. God damn it! You can't, Come in somebody, this motherfucker and clean this bitch up. But that's up. the thing. I do. I, but this, I feel like I do. Cook, but again, okay, so, but now you did cook for us the one night I was here. He did cook for us. He did cook for us the one night I was here. That's fine. This is what I'm also saying, right? It's not even just about the recognition, right? I just feel like it's expected for women to do it, and it's an option for men to yes, do it. Yes, it and is. I an don't option. understand the option. Go ahead, Alex. And I don't either. It seems it's just like raising children. I yeah, always I feel the same. I feel it's like, like it's most expected for yeah, the moms most to do women, this, but men get an but option. men get an option. They can choose whether it. or not they want to be. But it's like mom. It's like hands it's like, on. I can't do so that. I don't yeah. feel like I feel even like married it's a couples when the baby scenario. is crying most of the time. No. The woman gets up no. and, and gets the baby. All right, so, I, and I was going to say no, because in all of my, my my good friends that have kids, the men get up at nighttime. And, and it, I disagree with you. I disagree with you. I disagree with you. I disagree with you. Alex knows a bunch of unicorns because, no, I mean, listen, well, we, I know people that are married. And when the baby starts crying, it's like the man acts like he can't hear it. Let's no. have the conversation. <laughs> Let's have the conversation uh, with logic first of all. My man said. Let's assume that we're not. My man, I'm having a my, pure my, logic. My man said, "All the people I know, and then you said I disagree with you." How? Okay, so can I get a show of hands in here? That's not the. What, no, we're gonna do a show of hands. How many of you guys think that when a baby cries, majority of the time the woman tends to? That has nothing to do with his experience. Somebody, with the people I, I, he knows. I, I want to show of. I want to show of hands. Does anybody think? Okay, if you think the man gets the baby when he cries <laughs> uh -huh. more, raise your hand. Not my point. Now the woman, the woman. It's case by I'll case. I'll give you that too, but what okay. I'm saying. It's but case you're missing by case the point. Though, but you're, you're, it's case, case by case, but majority of cases. No, not in his majority. Case, like, in you his, don't know okay, every in case. Yours, in your life. Stop capping, y'all. Y'all got to wake up the beast. Hold up. Y'all got to stop. In your life, that is what it is, right? However... Jazz is a single mom. And I was a single mom. Right. We know tons Respect. of single moms. Respect. In these instances of knowing other single moms or even moms with the baby Listen, father Listen, there's around. way more single mothers than there are single fathers. Statistics don't lie. No. Numbers don't lie. Taking, okay, that's, that's fine. And I'm not trying to take it away. Why is it optional? We, we are expected in it. around that one statement because I didn't say that. What I'm saying is overall... In the aspect, if you think about it, numbers don't lie. So we're not just talking about Alex's case friends because it's right. not just about Alex. That's fact. As a universal fact. Thank you. As a universal Thank fact, you. Talk, there are please. more Thank single you. mothers because men get an option to walk. Just as it's and to me, it's this, it's a logic thing. Because First of all, when you go in That's in right. any state, when when the woman has a baby, if the man doesn't sign the birth certificate. He's not the dad. He's not the dad. He has but to. You have to go to woman, court the, to prove the woman it. Is the but the woman is by default. Let's 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 let's, let's really back in. So the, the the crux of the matter right now is what we we want to know the why. The crux is the matter of like I said. The crux of the matter is why do men get an option to do, to do the things that women the, have to do? Right. And if we don't do, it's like it oh, won't they're get not done. Women. They're not. They don't meet a woman criteria. Or it won't I don't want to date a woman that. Why does, or why, why or a woman who doesn't or whatever whatever. But. You, Niggas don't even meet the criteria of the what they're expecting of a woman. Men get options because you guys allow it. And that's the best answer I can give. Anytime a man is allowed to have options, he's going to choose. When you don't have options, more than likely, you gonna your, your choice is going to be well, very I'm narrow. I'm going to end this segment with, ladies, stop choosing these niggas. Period. I want to say Period. stop. Well, yeah. Because they, they clearly. And also, what about. It's, uh, it's your choice. That, what, stop what about, choosing these what about patience, though? Like, it's like you mm -hmm. want. You, you said it's not it's not racism. It don't take years and years or, or decades, right? Why mm -hmm. why why racism have to take that long? With anything, like J Cole said in his in his legs, we gotta treat our people like children and understand that they need more time and patience and when loving them. Okay. Like that's a fact. So it's like so if, I'm gonna I'm gonna counter that and I'm going I didn't to even say finish. how you gonna counter it? because I'm going to say when you know better, do you, better. Okay. You're we're grown. Facts, fair. I I mean I get like if you wanna. I, what in, I will say in, is, in, in, in situations of it just being one household per a whole demographic of people, we're talking about changing racism. But when it comes to your household, just take care of your household. And another thing, that's so a part of the say, like, issue. So people don't like take care of like their that's household. Like what I was gonna say, starts honestly, in the home. It starts say, in the I house. Feel like, I feel like if we want to generalize it, right? Women have, like, I think it's like a lot of times it's lack of patience. And when I say that, it's like when I'm living by myself, 
my crib is clean. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, because you know why I though? cleaned your house. Stop lying. Hold on, but, but no. hold on. The first time I came to your house, I put up all his clothes. I had a okay. He had a ton of clothes. So that's granted, not true. Granted, that's granted, that's not true. granted, granted, granted. Hold on, wait, no. Granted, granted. Okay, granted. A tornado flew his, around his room before you came, so right? That one time. Fair. You just proved my point. So when finish. you're alone, no. you do it. It's clean, it's tidy. Point. But when the woman steps in, all of a sudden, you're missing. What I'm the saying responsibility is, is what I'm ours. Is, let's, let's not do that because I'm pretty sure it's somebody in here that came in here when our house wasn't together. That don't mean fine. that. Hold I never up. said that. You that said the, my house was, but, I just said the first time. But that's time. my point. Listen, first time I listen, came you're not listening. My point is, I'm pretty sure somebody in this room came in here when our house wasn't together. That doesn't mean that our house isn't, it doesn't be clean. Right, but if your house was clean. Okay. Hold up. So when I say my house usually be clean by myself for you to counter argue that with the the first time I came that I doesn't never, but I never it wasn't a counter argument okay but I just said once. I just said I just I said, said no it wasn't I just I said, said when I first came it was a statement it I wasn't just a said oh, so okay but I just said I'm, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt <clears throat> that you kept your place clean but why is it that when a woman is now in the picture you do it less so that's what I'm saying I don't think we do it less when I'm when I was trying to say in my my situation, right? Mm -hmm. When I'm by myself, I clean on my own accord. That's okay. what I do. So if I'm with a woman, for the most part, it's probably the same thing. Now, I think women have, when it comes to cleaning, you guys' patients are thinner than men. So when if I don't clean when you think it's time to clean, then you're upset. Boom. But if you wait, Boom. you don't. You never know. I feel like I will clean. I'm not about to let my house be messy okay. forever, but it's forever. Like, okay, How long is forever? forever. forever. Okay. Will we let but, it? But yeah. that's, like, that's my discretion. Can we get a time frame? Okay, that's fine. That's your okay. discretion. But what I'm saying is, as Good an point. adult, this is why my first thing was like, at the things you should do as an adult, cleansiness next to godliness. Everybody's so close to God, faith, and all these things. At the end of the it's day, a fact. women, now you are saying. When, it's, it's not a fucking sermon. First of all, what said, I'm trying, I never what? said it was a sermon. What you say? I'm just saying like, you ain't like, we ain't, all of us got our shit. We okay, all got and that's shit fine, to, that's fine. But I'm talking about this, right? So what I'm saying is my subject, my topic. So I'm talking about this, right? So what I'm saying is at the end of the day, like your, your discretion of it being a week to two weeks, like as an adult, like keep your fucking shit together, like period. Like, so that's my whole point. Like, as the end, at the end of the day, I have a daughter, right? So I cannot teach my daughter that go weeks and two weeks and three weeks or whatever on you to clean it like that, bro. Clean your house. Keep it together, period. That's why I said, and it's a, it's an adult thing. It's not even just men versus women, but I feel like women have to take on, like... You know what's funny, that, though? You know what's like, funny, though? It's, like, it's just you like know a woman funny, thing. It's you know what I, been a you know, woman thing. You know it's what I've a, noticed? A, a person thing. You know like, what I've noticed? Together. Men have no problem, though, keeping their car clean. I rarely see a dirty car from a man. I mean, because it's like so. So, clean cars. so mean, are you? So are you keeping together what you value? Do you not value the household as much as you value your personal? And that's the that the point I'm making is I feel like men, when it's a personal motive, they take care of it more. But there is no personal motive. It, you said that we like to clean because we have thinner patients when it comes to things being messy. There is no personal motive in it for us. It's just that we are keeping everything together. So when you guys, when you guys single out your vehicle and make sure that is all tidy and clean, it's because you you take pride in your vehicle, right? Yes. So you should take just as much pride in your vehicle as you do in your home. We take pride in our home. It has nothing to do with, oh, I don't like that that way. Let me clean it. It's just I'm going to take pride in my space. I respect what you're saying a thousand percent. But for sake of argument, it's like a contradiction because you have pride in your home and that's okay. I might have pride in my car and that should be okay. But because it's different than what you deem is pride for, or what should be prideful is a problem. So we let's not put it on the table and say, oh, I think it is a problem. I do. I, I do. And I'm okay and with I'm that. Say that. And I'm going to say that. I do think listen, it's a problem. I will never try to I do think sway it's a your problem. judgment, but you can't say one is better than the other. Comparison is the thief of joy. Let's stop that. Like that, that's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like I just want to clean house. Respect. So, but, but the question was, and I feel like we got away from the question. The question is about recognition. Or she said no. She changed it. She said I changed not, it because. Okay. What, yeah. But the real question is just why does it have to be the normal for women and yeah. not the normal for men? Yes, and I, and like I, and, and then like I, honestly, because like standard. I've seen yeah. I've seen guys like yo, I went over that shorty house. That shit not clean. Yeah, like, yeah. and then all of a sudden shorty. she's no like, good. But bro, your house what? Like but it's like will, how but, can you how can you pick and select females right, to, based to, off to, of what they their qualities of cleaning a house and being able to cook like all these criteria of these women? But it's like. You come in and you don't do it. Fair. So it's to, like, to, sum to it me, up, that's weird. To sum it up, to finish it, right? What I will say it's is unfair. I will be, it's very I will unfair. Be, I will be a fool to say that that's not life. Like, that's, that, 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 that's not real. 
it is real to answer i don't i can't say why but what we can only do is understand why it is individually first and then work on it and if you don't have somebody that's working on it progression then it's not worth it that's all i'm saying so can so you give a message to is, your men and can you can you give a, a message to the men and can you try to i don't know i guess inspire them as to a, try harder go ahead alex i want to say basically i think you have to have the conversation and yes. the communication is the biggest key and patience grace and all of that factors into it because as you're growing Again, and it might go into your topic. Like we, you have once you meet someone, you're different. Right. Your upbringing has a factor. So if you came from a household where, like, my mother and my father, they're always clean. So I saw that. So I've seen a duo and stuff like that. When you've seen come up from a, a dominant, a female dominant, you see her do everything. Sometimes you become it come becomes a crutch to it. Yeah. And you have to unlearn that. We're cons consistently unlearning things that we were taught in society, and that's something as a man, like we are unlearning because again, traditionally, women. Were the home, they were in the house, they were holding it down. The we have seen women progress. To and we know historically that men, I mean, we know this as a fact, women, men evolve slower than women. We know that. We and know that as a to fact. Answer, to answer your question, that. to not put your feelings that aside, you asked the question, right? If I could do something to motivate my men, I would just be like, yo, women care about cleaning. As us, as men, we would like for women to ask us, but this is strictly for men, take that shit Throw that shit away. Thank you. Let's not wait for them to ask. You know what I'm saying? Let's not wait for them to say we need help because they aren't us. That's what we would do. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. If that's, 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 let's take initiative Thank to help you. Initiative. The, the word yeah. of the Can day is now initiative. If I have to give some men advice. Yo, men. Women like men who are clean. We like men who smell good. We like men who keep themselves together. We like men who keeps their stuff tidy. We like men who do these same things, the same way you like a woman to be clean and tidy to, and hair trim and all that. Me. We like the same thing. So yes, if we come to your house and the things are not tidy, yes, I, I, we shut the nose up to y'all you know, too. You know what I'm saying. If y'all don't keep y'all stuff together, yes, it is a <laughs> down look on. When you, the same way y'all look at women who aren't tidy, women look at men like you're not a tidy nigga, like get your shit together I'll, the I'll, same I'll motivate way. the men. I'll motivate the men. Okay, so you want to, you want to, Things to get better in the bedroom, clean the fucking house up, okay? You'd be shocked. Now, that shit okay. real. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> you would be shocked. Hey, that listen, is actually real. I heard And that I'm not, I'm, I'm for that 100%. <laughs> I haven't heard that before. I'll try That's to clean up see, more I forget now. men Please. are animals, okay? But, but you know my whole thing, too? They're, <laughs> they're animals. <laughs> I have ruined it now. They're yeah. animals. You gotta, you gotta dangle a treat in front of them. Clean the house up, men, and you will get. It sounds like a toddler you will get to some, me. You will, However, you will get some more some action. Ice cream. You get some you better room, bedroom you want some action. Candy. Oh, you want some walk? You want some walk? You want some walk? Clean the goddamn house up. You know we do this. Not nah, fair, like, but it's like, like that's just whatever. Um, like, so, moving on. Uh, I, love it. It. I was curious to know what I want to talk about or what we wanted to talk about to, today was, um, you know, I seen this. Did you did you post a tweet? I seen this t this tweet right and it, you and I, I catch I catch random like thoughts. So the tweet was like, "Get you a nigga who's not perfect, but he gonna change. He gonna change some shit up to make you happy off the strength that he really love and fuck with you." The statement is very true, and I fuck with the statement. Um, but what I will say is, I feel like in most situations, it's always the man that's so willing to change, but the woman not so willing. Wow. It's always, it's always, it's always the man that's like, you know what? I got to get my shit together so I can be with oh, this woman and give her what, I, what she want. Wow. However, I don't think, I don't get the same energy from women. So you think that- You don't that, get the same or you just so don't you see think the same? That, like, what's wrong? Do you think it has anything to do with compromise or do you think like, are you saying like, as far as like being self-motivated, like your woman is not- Growing in, in in what aspect is she not growing? I'm gonna I'm I'm give you the, the the aspect. Okay. Where can we compromise with cleaning the house? We just I thought we just made progress, but apparently not. Uh, fifty fifty. Is there a, does fifty fifty exist anymore? Okay, fifty fifty. All no, right. Apparently not. Cool. All right. So to to answer your question, um, I feel like it's rarely compromised when it comes to women because it's like. I'm not changing for nobody. So it's when you say change, like what exactly are you looking for as change? Like what are you defining so change not... as in a relationship between a man and a woman? Anything physical. So let's say not even mental, right? Because okay. it's crazy because me and Shade was having this conversation and uh, we were talking about, um, you know, I was asking, I was asking her to like not to to yell so much or whatever, right? And she's worked on that and it, it was dope. 
But I was telling her, we were talking about love languages, but I was telling her, like, before we could even get to love language, we got to have respect. So if I feel like you're not respecting me in your conversation, we can't even get to love language. So she might think, well, I'm changing because at one time I used to yell and now I'm not. That's dope. Don't, okay. don't get it messed up. However, when it comes to love language, you can, before you get to love language, you got to have respect. So I can't. So if you say, okay, now I'm respecting you, but I'm changing. Nah, it's, it's just not that simple. I'm sorry. But when it, when, I, when I'm asking, I'm talking physical things, right? Let's say hypothetically, I don't know. Um, let's say we would start smoking, right? We had a conversation about smoking, right? Let's say I'm Kill like. Kill yourself. I'll never I mean, quit. No. <laughs> Right, but but let's say let's say smoking that's your thing, right? That's that's how you get your shit off, right? Yeah. That's how you that's how you uh clear your clear your that's head, my right? Vice. That's your vice, right? What if my vice was fucking bitches? Then you that's just my not a bitch. Not but that's my point. But that's my point. What if my vice is sucking dick? Like that's how ridiculous that sounds. I don't think. I mean, we make excuses for what we want. It was convenient for us. So I feel like this, right? So when it comes to smoking, right? I have let every nigga I've ever dealt with know from the gate, look, this is what I do. If you don't you like don't it, like don't it. come this way. It's not hey. about changing, because I'm not trying to change your preference. I'm letting you know up front what you're getting. If you don't want it, don't take it. Because There's niggas certain who don't things, like girls who smoke. That's and that's fine. cool. You're that's not your for me. Preference. I'm not your preference then. And I don't think that's a change thing or a growing thing. I'm just not your preference. I think it's a difference when you go into things thinking that somebody's needs to change or grow, or you just pick the wrong person, and All that's right. not for you. Fair, okay. And, and just like you said that, I... I can only respect that. I'm not saying I can't. However, again, when it comes to the man, right, it's not that simple. I can say, I let's not like even say. I should have a preference with the type of bitches they want, too. If I you don't like, like a bitch who smoke, but don't give like, no, one. I, you I, have I'm a preference to go get somebody else. But I was going to say, huh? I, I will add to, add to that. I do feel like we're giving more ultimatums than we give out. Right, and what I'm saying, like, well, no, I feel like, no, I, feel like, I think that so, I so, think that we see a lot of women. I think women we're more vocal, and I've seen a lot of men all that double, men, double all bitch, and give no explanation. So it's not that we're giving more more ultimatums. It's just that we're moving differently. So yeah, we might give you a chance, as we're whereas you guys would just be like, well, on to the next. What what I'm th what I'm saying? Yeah, no, the point. What I'm nah, I don't think so. I think for men, right? If I want a woman. It's some things I got to change. So let's say, like you said, clean up the house, you, you, the sex be better, right? So it's like, I have to clean up the house more to have better sex with my woman. I okay. lost you at, uh, no, hold what on. if my vice is fucking bitches? Like, I mean, no, what? no, I'm saying that sometimes you got to learn in extremes. I'm, I mean, it is what it is. That's that's a real fact. So, so what if your woman's so me, vice is sucking so me, dick? How so does me, that affect your relationship? So let me dumb it down, though. I'm dumbing it down. Okay. I went to another example, right? Okay. So, they don't like those extremes. No, they I mean, don't. I mean, they can't handle it. Y'all can't handle it. If that's your vice, then I probably wouldn't be with you anyway. But that's my then we just said the same thing. I'm not, but I never thing. disagreed with that. Okay. I never disagreed. Okay. I'm just so saying. So my point. So my point is, when it comes to the the difference in dynamics, when men is like, for the woman I want, I gotta make some things. I gotta change some things about myself. Like what? I gotta. I can't be lazy. I gotta okay. get off my ass and work. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's little things that I have to clean up because if I don't clean up, I'm gonna hear it all the time. I, I'm not gonna have good sex. Hold up. So you don't think she made any changes? That's not, not what I'm saying. Like, no, you're, you're comparing not, you're again. Because you're, you said no comparison. You're comparing no, again. I, I mean, of course, because we're talking. It's a oh, topic, right? So but now it's cool okay. to compare. No, it's not cool to compare. Cheers. I'm asking about a difference so, uh, for understanding. I'm never, I would okay. never say, I'm, I'm not contradicting myself. Okay. It's not cool to compare. I'm trying to understand the difference in dynamic. No comparison. Uh, okay. okay. Go ahead. Sorry. Well, it is comparison. That sounds stupid. What I'm saying is I feel like in men, you know what I'm saying? We are like we are more eager to change for the right woman. Right. But a woman, I'm not saying that y'all not willing to change at all. I'm not okay. gonna say that's stupid of me to say. Okay. However, I feel like it's more susceptible for the woman to be like, yo, that's me. You either accept it or you get another bitch. So I think this, right? So I personally think that when you say like men have to change more, like say if they want a woman, I have to change some things or change. I think that's something that you feel like you have to change because I feel like if you were just you're stepping front, your game up, you're like if you're up front with what you want to like wh who you are, like it's kind of like the you're, the woman either takes you for who you are or not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when you say I'm where I'm getting confused is when you say to get with a woman, I have to change some things, but I don't understand to get with somebody. You have to change some things. Because I I thought when you got with somebody, it's like you were transparent. We can grow together, but this is who I am. Like yeah. so, I'm transparent. So this is a and this doesn't mean we can't grow through or change and grow up. It's just this is who I am. So when you say to get with a woman, or is it in the relationship? Because that's where I'm it's, a little. So I'm gonna agree with you and you because I do feel like 
change is not necessarily a negative, you know? Right. No, it doesn't okay. have to be a bad thing. I mean, there are things that you can change for, you know, not necessarily for someone, but maybe the person you're with or aspiring to be with inspired you to be better because you saw a quality in them that you admired. However, I do also think that at the core, we are who we are. And I think that when you say change, like if you have to change yourself in order to be with someone, then you're probably not with the right person. All right. So and, women and you mean in order, because like when you say in yes. order to be with somebody, it's like, yes. Yeah, so as well, I think, that's because I like when I think of change, like so when I say change or when I think of people change, I'm like, I'm like. Also, you should be changing for yourself. Is I, I would hope it's for I hope it's for you. Is so, I, hope, yeah. I would hope it's for you. So, and like you I, think you like so for example, even when he was like the yelling thing, right? I knew that yelling all the time was wrong. Like you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. or to get my point across. I also knew that wrong. So it wasn't for him. I changed. Yeah, it was for me. He just mirrored it so that I can see it, and right. I didn't like it in myself. So and I you said, you know what? It. You need to tone that down. So, not for him though. So, that so was for fair, me. And and that's fair. But that's why I was saying like not more so that like more so physical things. Like for example, um. When I again we talked about this on the podcast, you used to say I didn't have any boundaries, right? Or I didn't like, yeah, I didn't have any boundaries. That what if I was just like, you know what? That's me. I'm okay with having my friends and being able to talk how we how we talk, right? I it's like I can't say these things because I want to keep my woman. It's not I'm not saying that women don't, but I just feel like the more we fight this, like when y'all came to us about cleaning up, right? It's not it's no fight because it's like we can we can. Take it, take and you can say we could take okay. it like you know what I can see that that it might not be me, but it has been a uh, it has been an issue. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But it's like when we're bringing something up, it's like no, 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 no. So, like, mm -hmm. I don't agree with that. Of I don't course you don't. That's exactly. Okay, I don't either. either. Well, let me get my point across because maybe you can understand why I don't agree with it before you do that, right? So what I'm trying to say is when you say like for example, like just like Alex said in the last one with the fathers and the mother, right? I also think it's case by case because I'm like okay, cleaning up is one thing, but if you're talking about boundaries with bitches and stuff like that. I think those are case by case things because at the end of the day, some things are really unhealthy for a relationship and it can be toxic. And for some a person things, in some general. Some things are your personal, you know, like- Preference. Pre like preference. Some things are your personal dealings. So when you say like, oh, it, it, I couldn't say this because then you'd be like, no, no, no. But some things are also crossing my own personal And I boundary, respect that. Now right? wa watch this though, I respect that, right? These are things that you might have known in the beginning. We all we all can witness, right? When you get in a relationship, when you first start talking, you already see who a person is. You just ignore the signs a lot Absolutely. of times. Absolutely. That is Fair. a great so hold point. Up. So hold up. So understanding that, right? Let's just say, just for argument's sake, right? Smoking, right? Let's say, yeah, I knew you smoked, right? But I didn't know it was like that. You know what I'm saying? So now, so hold up. But now, now I'm in a relationship. <laughs> I'm not about to break up with you because that's what you did. Because why? I put myself in that situation. I have to walk through this journey because that's something I chose to do. When it comes to women, on the other hand, I don't see. That's not like it's. It's I like so. Then agree, it's like the, like it's I've like what you said to us. Women. No, it's like what you said to us. We'll just accept it. Fair. So and this is and, and the only thing reason why the only reason why because I just want to talk for a lot of women because I've been a woman who settled before. I've been a woman who moved with a nigga instead of doing what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I've been a woman who's done a lot of things for the sake of a nigga before. So I don't really Me agree too, with that because I know plenty of women who has been ran through the ringer by men because they refuse to because the men refuse to change or grow. So I can't say like you're like you don't see that from the women. I'm a prime I've example. Look at my daughter's father. Look at my daughter's father. Look at my tons. daughter's father. Oh, I did everything for that man and he still did not change. He might have he may have changed. I've seen he, you know what he changed? Do that. Like, it's like he changed women do some that, things. He changed some things like you know there was no infidelities things of that nature, but. As far as like, you know, I mean, he's a criminal. As far as living a life of crime, like I begged him to stop. I, did, I put him in the position to where he didn't have to be a criminal no more and he still was a criminal. So I feel like I had already changed. But I feel like that's a lot of women's story. I had like already. Whether it's criminal or something else. Anything. A lot of women have yeah, that. Yeah, I had already right. changed. So to say that men so, and I'm sorry, I had already changed that. So, 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 so much. Like, that sounds right. Like, I had already changed so much. So, for him, and he still didn't change, so I can't up. say that men change for more than women. Up, I'm going to ask a question I wanted to be honest, all of us, right? Okay. I'm going to go back to the tweet. It said, get you a nigga who's not perfect. He's going to change some shit up to make you happy off the strength that he loves and really fuck with you. Can I, the question is, I don't think I will ever see this vice versa. It would say, get you a chick who's not perfect. <laughs> boys. Well, I, would, I don't think I will ever see that because, tweet. But, but, but so I, first clearly, of all, nobody's perfect. perfect. I'm gonna tell nobody's you why. even perfect. I'm going to tell you why. First of all, nobody's perfect facts, right? But I'm going to also tell you why. Because niggas are always chasing those 
perfect bitches yeah. that they actually want. Like they're always cha- like you guys are always choosing like, okay, I want a bitch who cooks, clean, she look good, she whatever, fine. whatever. So a lot of times you already met the criteria you want because they're the one who hunts. Yeah, so, yeah. So, that, like that's just what that it is. is I true. feel like a lot of times the niggas are always the ones choosing. If we want to go back to times and times and then or whatever we say, go back because the times and generations, men are chasers. Wrong or right? I right? mean, it's that's human nature. That's how it goes, right? Even when I used to be like, I bag Jay, he'd be like, you ain't bag me. I like because men yeah, usually men, pick, right? You they said hunt. you pick me, remember? Right. So my point is, a lot of times you already did your picking. You already picked your woman that you wanted, that you thought maybe not be perfect, but it was things you could, you wanted from her and I could deal with that. Okay. All I'm saying is, the fact that we all agree that we don't think we would see that. I never said that. I never said that. Because I see a, a lot of other things like happy wife, happy life. Uh, yeah. Like you know what I'm that's saying? Still I see other yeah. ma- that's that's no, for men. But my you don't point- see you don't see you don't see happy husband, happy something because it's something I that I'm mad at. I was still like, about, oh, take your nigga to the strip club because do it. Do we like suck your nigga dick? I've take seen him that. I've just seen a tweet. Hey, I take him to Red Lobster. I just seen. A thing. I take. I want to fuck my dick. I take my dick to Red Lobster. Well, guess what? Well, guess what? Well, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? This is. We're gonna end on this because I feel like. Why would I end where you want to end? Shade because we're. Was that? Okay, anyway, like you gotta flex up sometimes. I've seen, I've, seen, I've, seen many, I've seen many men cook and clean, but it's like mm. y'all not acknowledging <laughs> the issue I'm at hand. I'm y'all sorry, not I've seen because y'all keep rebuttaling it with. No, with, I, you you want me to say that I've never seen that tweet? I can't say a tweet exactly like that. No, but I've seen okay. tons of tweets so, that has been out there. And for I've seen kids. tons of guys right. cleaning up and. All right, so but I have a question. Don't let me go because I was about to say something else. I have a question because you brought up like your past and you brought up like that you settled in the past right and i feel like the conversation is about your past experiences creating an environment where you're using your current you fucking it up for me and i'm just wondering like is it fair no no i'm I'm talking about in general not i'm talking about in general you fucking up people fuck it up for each other so let's say it like how do we have that conversation and not allow arguments because it's trauma to a degree like, not First trauma, of all, we're always bringing in baggage into everything. Right, everybody, but, from everywhere, from last relationships, from So how do we childhood, eliminate the baggage and have the there conversation? There is no such thing I don't as believe in that. baggage. I don't believe in so that. Do I, don't believe in that. I don't believe in that. The question is, how do we have the conversation? I think that, there, like she said, I think that there, I'm, I'm going to touch on you too. I don't think that there is any, first of all, it is impossible to eliminate trauma. No. Now, you may be able to cope, cope, cope better. better. And feel you may, better, right. heal it, but it's still but there. But there is no way to completely get rid of it. So to answer your question, how do we communicate that? I mean, at some point, somebody has to either introduce therapy to the relationship or individually, or, you know, you have to learn. So I feel like everybody communicates on a level that they understand. Mm-hmm. If you're going to be with somebody, then you have to communicate the change that you want on a level that they are sus- they're susceptible to, like that they understand. If you if you say it the way you said it, like oh, how come women don't change as much? That's that not the way to either. approach it. If you want change, Fair. then you need to inspire it. Right. You need to learn how to talk to her in a way that she understands that what you're doing is not healthy for the relationship. Not that it's irritating you or it's whatever. Just tell her, look, I feel like. Because I think that women, we communicate better with men when we want to change. Oh, my God. This, li- listen. Wait, it makes so Wait, much. Say that one more time. No, I know. She, <laughs> she said women communicate better than men when they wanna when they like, want to change. I feel like I feel like the reason why she said that, I didn't mean to cut you off, is because a lot of men, I'm not saying all men, don't are not as emotionally tied. They don't even want to communicate. I didn't want to lie. They don't, don't even that. know how to. Fair, you can't say you don't care but because no, you've been generalizing the whole no, time. No, no. I'm saying I don't care about that for one thing, right? You broke that down so well. But when it came to cleaning a house, it wasn't inspire change. Do things well, in a way. Well, because we're already doing we're it. Doing we're it, doing it, So if how you is it not inspiring? Right, right. If so, you so, see so me clean, is, is, how can, it, how can I inspire so, you any more than so by showing, by leading so by example? Fair, fair. I, I agree. If I think men are so susceptible to change, but women aren't, guess what? Men are doing it. So that's the same. It's the same thing. Let's stop trying to break it down and and well, can and. What you say that again? I if that. you said, I said, yo, this, the way you broke it down, right? I said, why couldn't it be that way when it came to cleaning the house? Why can't you do something and show us and so we can understand and think like you said? Well, that's because we're doing it. I said respect, but guess what? My topic is why does men 
do this and women don't. And you say, your argument was, well, you got to do this to inspire change or do it for a way to, for us to understand. And I'm saying, guess what? Just like you said, we're cleaning up. We're changing. Can somebody break that down to go down? Okay, so that. in all fairness. It's the same thing to me. Okay so, okay, so what he's saying is, why is it that when we want to see a change, like as far as them cleaning up the house, we don't do anything that motivates them to do that. Like what? Well, like I, that, that's I where I, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I don't understand. I, so, so I didn't give that. So I just want, I'm so no. I'm saying I can't give an example because that was it was really a rebuttal. Jasmine said you have to do something to, to inspire, inspire it, to change. get it. So I'm like, yo, just like we can do something, y'all can do something. And, I, and, when, and, and once I said that, what? you said we do. We do. Okay, we so can we agree that for both issues, I think the underlying exactly it's thank you alex it's thing. communication 100 percent. if we can com and communication so my only thing is, is the hardest thing it's crazy like thing this is my only thing we say communication i feel like communication has been the result of 36 episodes it's always communicate but because we still because i, I, I really think i really do right believe yeah, that, that's <laughs> my point so my thing is when we keep saying communicate but that's really not telling people who how to who so, do not know how to communicate how to communicate. So that's my point. I think well, that's why I said we got to speak and gotta, you got to communicate in a way that your partner understands. Okay. How do you understand? How do you, how do you, so for example, and this is, this is not my situation. This is just right. For those people who are having a hard time getting how to learning, how to find how somebody communicates or are not misunderstanding or how do I do this? Mm -hmm. How do you get them to? Cause I feel it's, like even with Jay, excuse me. I feel like even with Jay and I, we took a while to learn how to even communicate where we are now. That took time. That didn't take. That wasn't just like, oh, communicate with him. And it's like I just knew. So what I to do. do. I think, I think it's I a, think it, it is. I think. I think it. Honestly, I think that is something that's worked on until the day we die. Right. Yeah, I agree. With but our I, parents, I, with I our children, with, with our friends, period. with our. It's a. It's, it's a, a never. It's a never ending, ending thing. thing. But right. then I also feel like it's the difference between hearing and listening. And like right. when you're having a conversation, like we actually have to intentionally listen to yes. your partner. And it's like let them fully communicate. Let them get their part out. Because I was always taught, if you're already talking while somebody is talking, then you're not actively listening. Because while they're talking, you're already forming your opinion. Mm. So you don't really get to, you can't form a proper opinion unless everything is laid out. And then once it's laid out, it's like, all right, now I can form my opinion. But if you're already, like, the minute, the first sentence, it's like I'm jumping back and I'm, 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 I'm challenging it because it, it was directed and the wrong way. And that's what I was... We, we have these rebuttals and these clashes. I agree with all you guys, and that's what I was going to say. Like, a lot of people say communication is key. It's not communication. It's effective communication, right? They say, like, listening is key. No, comprehension is key. Because, yes. like, you can listen and, all you want. And action. You right. got to enact. I can right. say I'm going to do something all day long, but if I don't ever take any steps to do it, then it, I might as well have never and, even said and it. And I also think that comprehending with the person who wants to comprehend with you matters. Yes. Because yeah. some people are committed to misunderstanding you. It's what it is. Yes. And even if that it, is it's true. Like, that's it, toxic. It, thank that you. Is it's, true. And, and it's some people are not going to get it because they don't want to get it from you. Because like, they're and unwavering. They're not they unwavering. don't want they, to. They already canceled but it out. I and say, I think that's and where it And they're manipulative to, and they already know but, that they're not going to no change way. it. And I, oh, they want to hear I'm, you say it just to not right. change so it. So I feel like at the end of the day, you have to, like, I, I'm big on finding your tribe. Because sometimes, no matter how much you communicate with somebody, even if they're comprehending, they're not comprehending for you. Period. I just think, um, I don't know. You're right. I like again. So it's we a need to communicate. So effective communication, and I think that effective communication is not just verbal action. You have to put some action into it, or nothing. If I have to keep saying it, then already the communication is not effective. However, if you haven't started trying to do it, then your communication is ineffective on. And that's that's and where that I was point, going. Is a two way street. It's you a two way street. At you, that point, it. if 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 I can't tell you something and you can't put any effort into physically changing it, then at that point, it's a dub. It's done. We're done. I like it's that. a dub. We got like, we got that. Let's let's move on. That was actually was great. That was great. Um, what are we talking about? Let's get to the shit. You can move down. <laughs> Uh, shout out to Joe. Is he's doing everything? Uh, we appreciate you, my guy. All the way up. Yeah, yes. you can scroll Stop all the way up to trending topics. What's going on? Um, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. And we got one hundred three on the. Oh, it was only one. Uh, we at uh Joe Biden picks Kamala Harris for to be his vice president. Um, first and foremost, shout out to Kamala. No matter if we agree or disagree, if we like her or we don't like her, she's definitely the first, first black, black woman candidate, woman. vice president. She's, a, she's the first uh, black woman who was ever on a presidential ticket. Right. Yeah. So, 
Nope. But yeah, um, shout out to her. Um, anything else you want to add? I mean, uh, it's a it's a it's a beautiful thing. Um, just just the history of it all. I mean, the, all politics aside, seeing her again, like uh, when we were talking, she's going to be an inspiration to all black women, mm. the black kids growing up, because it, it's something we hear about Shirley Chisholm, but she hadn't gotten this far, you know, what I mean, to actually be on the ballot. Um, but it's it's history, you know, and you make your decision. I'm not going to sway anybody's decision left or right. You know, what I mean. Look at the candidates, look at their policies, look at stuff, and you make your decision based off that. But so I uh, say all I'm gonna say what I really want, yeah, but go, I'm so gonna just leave it at that. I like the way you said that. I think it was very tasteful. Um, I do know of some things that she's done that aren't necessarily pro black. Um, but in hindsight, like Alex said. Even if she's not the ideal black woman that we would have chosen to be the vice president, at least there's an opportunity now for a black woman who is the ideal candidate to run. Right. So shout out to uh, Kamala Harris. Um, yeah, we ain't, we ain't gonna touch on anything else. Um, let's get into Boosie. Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Where Mark? Oh, hey, yeah. So let, let somebody let's, tell Mark let's Zuckerberg let's that boss the boss. I want my. Instagram activated again. Let's let's actually play it for the people. We can we can do this now. We was working on this shit <laughs> for a minute now, right, Alex? So we're gonna play. There we go. There we go. All right, here we go. This is this is what Boosie had to say. Let me let me go back to it. I'm already laughing because it's the way he holds the camera. It's like a child. He has, no, play on your phone? he has no awareness of angles. He's just Mark, Mark Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg. I need to get back on Instagram. <laughs> I got just got an email. They say I had some sexual content. Play up if I up. If I, uh, my bad. If it popped out, it wasn't my fault. But I'm gonna take my leap. They just sent me a thing for me to take a picture with, and my Instagram still ain't back on. I just took my picture. This is my number. What the fuck is it? I'm ready, Mark. I'm ready to get back on. I got, I got people money. I got to do Instagram drop. Whatever I did, my bad. I need to get back on Instagram. Do sad. not do this to 2020. They just took my Instagram. Oh. Back again, Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg. Bosses need to talk to boss. I don't know what I did, but I need my Instagram back. I don't even know what I did, but this is how I feed my family. Mark, do not do this to 2020. Do Damn. not take boost off Instagram. <laughs> Yo, he look hurt. We need though. to talk, Mark. Cause that's his money. Thanks. So, Damn. What I would say is, it's a it's a pandemic, right? Yeah. A lot of artists can't tour right now. A lot of things that they would normally be doing to get money, they can't. So a lot of these artists are using social media as their form of That's marketing, a fact. as a form of, and Boosie was promoting his OnlyFans on that jet. Yeah. Hey, you know what? And hold, we know up. Instagram hold up, don't hold up, hold up, hold up. Boosie has OnlyFans? You ain't know? I didn't know that. No, I did not. But I, I, I wasn't learned. surprised when he said it. I just wasn't surprised. I was just getting like, ready to Boosie. say, well, why doesn't he go to OnlyFans? Well, Boosie sponsors OnlyFans. I don't think. No, I, know, I, I, don't I understand know what, what you're he's saying. He's OnlyFans. posting explicit right, but, content of other women. He was trying to promote it on his Instagram. So, this but is. But under Boosie Badass OnlyFans. Like, you should see the link on Instagram. Like, it says Badass Fishes. So, okay. Well, so, say. Boosie. Shout As out to Boosie because. Uh, OnlyFans. I feel like it's it's good entertainment. So, as an influencer on Instagram, like, I do understand, like, I need my page to be running because if I can't make my money, we're going to have a problem. I do feed my family off of Instagram, so I feel him on that one. However, Boosie, not in scene, you tell girls to put their pussy lips on live. For a thousand dollars. For a for, for for, thousand for, dollars. Yeah, so you know that you was out of line. However, you apologize to Mark Zuckerberger. Shout out to Mark Zuckerberg. Um, and, and, and I feel like in his defense, like Cardi B was just on Instagram last night. It was like, you know, y'all need to stop sucking these niggas dicks. You yeah. know, like, like literally was wilding it. Like, and granted, like, I ain't judge, like whatever, but it's still like people talking about it, bro. Like, yeah. the people doing like, come on. Like, the it's kind of like, is, what is it? Kinda like what? He's pimping on Instagram. 
Not like what? He's pimping on Instagram. The the right, but the thing is, he's actually doing it. Like Cardi B is talking about it. He's actually having girls show their pussy lip on Instagram. So we saw this. This isn't isn't new, something nothing new. We seen uh Tory Lanez get suspended, right? For yeah. like for a day. Violating or something. the community guidelines. Right. So it ain't nothing like it ain't like he's picking on Boosie. Right. The thing about it is, it's like <sighs> it's like Boosie, are you gonna do it again? Cause you did it and then you got deactivated, then you did it again. Are you gonna do it again? And then it's like, can he is he gonna still be able to feed his family the same? If he's not posting that type Facts. of content, do we want to hear from Boosie if he's not talking ignorant I, shit? No, ignorant how do, that's what it how is. We, we're, I mean, we're we all tuned in. Up, how do we feel about Instagram basically being niggas' bosses now and having the ability? I mean, they created it; they could do whatever they want. I mean, I almost feel like at Instagram. a regular, at a, well, not Facebook. I'm not even gonna say regular at any job. If you Go against the guidelines. Go against the guidelines. Your ass <laughs> is out of there. It doesn't matter how rap. great you are at create the job. Create your own that Facebook, that. Instagram. Exactly. I'm gonna need, right, let's create a black-owned social media platform where Boosie can wall out and we can tune in. Because I want to tune in. All I right. tune so in. So, Miss Graham, we're about to start that joint up. What you say? <laughs> 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 Wait, what? <laughs> let's go back to back pages or something like that, you know? Black, black Planet. Yeah, Where's I mean, Black Planet? I mean. We ain't subscribed black to Black page. Planet. We didn't subscribe. Black page. That's the thing. When black we come page. out with something, I'm black talking page. to my color folks. Black page. And actually support it. We need to support it. So when Miss Greenway, because she's going to create it, because you came up with the idea, okay. create the black social black media page. page. Black page. The black nah, page. Nah, I don't like that. We're going to change the name. Okay. Stuff, okay. But, but Let's support we're it. We're going to support it. I don't it. like that. <laughs> yeah, like, see, black people can never just fucking agree. You think that, uh, you think every person. white person was like, I don't oh like yeah, that. I don't like the name Instagram. though. Instagram, <laughs> like I'm right. sure somebody was like, like name, Instagram. I'm pretty yeah. sure we said Facebook. Niggas like what? That's yeah, some like Facebook. Shit. Like my face. Why? That's that doesn't make sense. Yeah, but um, so black page. What? Why? Why do we care? Well, it is taking money from him. But yeah, I, I asked the question is. If we know that, if he knows that, that's the rules and regulations. Yeah. And you talking about your money, it's like you're fucking your own money up. It's not Mark Zuckerberg. I almost think that he, I almost think he'd be fucking his own money up though. Also, if he stopped posting the content he's posting. I don't know, Boosie. He like maybe you just tone it down, Boosie. But first, he got to get back activated. Can he? Mm. Like we talking about? Can he? That, now, I mean, if that's that's this him. is off topic, but what exactly got Tory Lanez deactivated? Like, because what did he, he had do? girls on there wilding. But shaking like ass. when you say wildin', shaking ass, I said no, feel like no, 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 porn no. shit all over the like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, like putting their pussy okay. lips yeah. on like, Instagram. Yeah, okay. like almost like I don't know if y'all ever heard of I said wow, all my New York niggas know about him. He had like twenty five to a hundred pages because he was wildin'. So like So then why don't they create something where well didn't they don't they already have the thing where it's like viewer discretion, explicit content? No? That's actually dope. I like that that when you can like tap it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if you're uh, under a certain age, you can't tap it. But I guess it's like it's like we don't promote that, so we're not gonna put that on our page, I guess. But it's like why yeah. would you promote the other shit? Because sometimes it'd be killings and shit and be like Right. Yeah, so that's a great point. Double standard. You know why. But anyways, I ain't gonna get into that. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's get into this um NFL shit. Uh oh, we're talking Lord. about fucking up a bag. Fucking up a big bag. Yep. Go ahead. Over the what? Fucking up the, the bag. power of the pussy. The wop. That's the, the conversation. The right power there. of the but it's powerful. Let's not act like it's not. I mean, people have died over it. People and people will died. keep continue to die over it. And kill people over will it. kill over it, die over and it, change over <laughs> it. And change over it. Change over it. And compromise and clean over, over it. it. And then, get the cussed power out over it. Of the wop. The, the wet wop. ass pussy. Well, no. Cause, well. I mean, yeah. Does everyone have WAP? Is that a thing? That's impossible. Sudden, That's like saying, oh, yeah, every nigga got good oh, so, dick. Oh, like, so yeah, all right. All of a sudden, they do. If I see that caption on one more bitch, <laughs> like, I'm about somebody to said, of it. Somebody said, Talk about it. I seen, I was on Twitter, oh. and Carlos Miller, he had retweeted someone that was like, everybody's talking about WAP. But I don't hear no songs about no dot, no no D A P dry I ass pussy. No. Okay. <laughs> that dry, I know exactly. What's up with the dry ass pussy? What's Y'all want to talk about that, that though? Start that that uh, if, 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 that B B pussy, like that D J <laughs> pussy, like. <laughs> yeah. God, you know the old cars uh, where you got to like you got to rev it up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they ain't talking about it. So party. wait, I feel like for men, I feel like is it the so I know like for women, like if we fucking nigga with like either a little dick or it was just like horrible sex. It's like, we want to almost like forget about it. Like we, it's, no, like, it's we're like, you sick. feel disgusting. You feel disgusted. You like you shower, feel like, is that how y'all feel? Records, if we go back to previous podcasts, like you apparently the body, <laughs> body don't count. 
Right. So, the body don't count. Unless, oh, shit. <laughs> unless you are so what? what about you orgasm. If you're so orgasm, what about body don't count. All the, uh, women who are saying, basically, if you don't have a wet ass pussy, it's because your nigga ain't doing something right. I mean, what I will say to answer the question first, right, then to go to that. I don't, like, honestly, for me, like, I just feel like, <laughs> I don't know, like, I got a girlfriend, one. Right. You know what I'm saying? And... I'm always be, you know what I'm saying, making an extra wedding, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, I'm down there, you know what I'm saying? But, so, like, I don't really have those issues. Like, so, I don't, I don't understand that because I feel like it's a mental thing. Like, I don't need too much foreplay to get wet. But I know, like, some people feel like they can't, like, get stimulated unless they're all the way there. Like, they can't get wet. I personally don't know that. But I do know someone who told me, like, that they can't get wet after they – um, um orgasm yeah the first time yeah there's like the it's so she even went to a doctor and it's like she's tried all these different things and she can't do it so i you think gotta, uh, uh, so i guess go, go, dry ass pussy is a is well you guys said dry ass pussy is a real thing yeah so apparently whoever this nfl player uh kema siverin is that am i saying his name right seahawks cornerback um apparently rookie by the way but still okay a rookie, a rookie so not even league didn't even start yet. Um, apparently he was after some wet ass pussy because he tried to Clearly. sneak in a female visitor into the team hotel With when the what when they were under uh the reg- bubble. COVID regulations. Yeah, NFL bubble. Um, and he violated uh whatever guidelines he and he it? and so okay so he <laughs> he snuck the woman in by disguising her in Seahawks uniform attire. Which is funny, but at the same time, I think it's clever. Um, I want to know who snitched. No, here's what. So first of all, I saw a picture of the person. She wasn't going to get paid. <laughs> but on another note, I want to give him like the benefit of the doubt because he's a rookie and he came from college, right? So I feel like he thought this was college and it wasn't a <laughs> visitation, right? And he was like, you know, we all been there. You got to sneak to join in after visitation hours and figure it out. You fucked up your bag, though, in the process, and this ain't college anymore. I'm sure he doesn't think it was worth it. I mean, maybe. Fuck the big bag up. <laughs> and just in seriousness of COVID, I mean, they probably took it's not no slap on the wrist this time because nah, at the true. end of the day, yeah. you're jeopardizing yeah, well, and he, a lot he of He also jeopardized a lot of people's yeah. livelihoods by doing but that. But let's not. Let, hold up. Let's rewind it back. Not just his own. Let's rewind it back. We all then did some dumb shit. For the pussy, okay. one and hold like, up, okay. and, and and potentially catch and, AIDS. <laughs> and woman. At this point, this is the same thing as COVID. Dumb things done. HIV. COVID, I mean, they're yeah. treating COVID like HIV these days. So <laughs> apparently, at this point, it could be it could be transmitted. <clears throat> right. So what else? And semen and apparently. Oh hell nah. feces, Apparently, so they say the best way right now is to <laughs> use your hand. Whoa. Right. So let's not kill this guy because we, we've all done dumb shit for the pussy, and I'm pretty sure a woman have gotten dumb have done done shit because they wanted to give up the pussy. So he dressed her up as a Seahawks player. The as a team staff. Okay, yeah, so team I'm going to be real with y'all, okay? Because, you know, we're going to have a little real time. So I used to deal with um, this NFL player. and What's his name? So I don't want to say his name because I my boyfriend was an NFL player at the time, and I was cheating on him with another NFL player. So they were – No, so, no. No, so, we not no, gonna let it go. No, 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 let it go. No, we no. don't have to say nothing. Let it go. No, you know, let it go. No, let it go. Let it go. <laughs> no, let it, let it go. So, okay. Accountability. No, we don't. I'm just okay. gonna say how I that? think they may have gotten to this extreme. So, the my boyfriend played here, you know. So for the Redskins. Yes, he played for the Redskins. The guy What's that his I was. Name? Ah, uh, don't do this to me today. Cause I don't know if he I, I never got caught. Well, they got into a fight during the game and he asked me, Is there anything I need to tell him after the game? And I was like So Google no. all the fights from like, Redskin. You please. remember <laughs> this. You remember this. And I was like, What I was like, I know you did not blow my spot up like that. You are petty. Anyway, so the guy that I was cheating on him with, he played <laughs> for the away team. What team was it? My did favorite team. Did they Shout win? out to the Vikings. Huh? Did they win? Who won? That's the real question. Who so, won that game? My boyfriend. NFL fights between so, Vikings and... Ah, don't you dare. Okay, so look. So let me just <laughs> tell you guys. <laughs> can I get to the point? God damn. See how we be feeling? Okay, <laughs> so she knows 
You know what happened. Say the shit. Okay, so look, so the guy who played for the away team, he the game was home. The Vikings. Yes, they were coming to DC. So um apparently you can't have well, you have a curfew. And so he was staying at the hotel and he booked a room in my name so that, you know, he could sneak out of his room and come to my room and we could kick it. Now, do more than kick it. Come on. Let's... No, we didn't have sex. We didn't have sex. I'll admit that we had sex, but we didn't have sex that night. So, so, so listen, but, but the chemistry was, <laughs> hold on, listen, because the chemistry was so strong. I could see how we got to that point. Like it was on some, like, uh, just... some mission impossible shit. Like I was like, oh shit. Like I'm going to get caught. I'm going to get caught. I'm going to get caught. This and he was exciting, off his, like... yeah, like, oh, I got to see her. I got to see her. <laughs> so will we actually, well, yeah. Okay. So anyway, I didn't know that you could get a fine i think the fine was like i want to say it was like ten thousand dollars something around that range i can't remember exactly but the reason i found out is because we're laying down we're kicking it we're watching a movie we're he he he. next thing you know he looked like he saw a ghost he jumped out of his skin and was like oh my god what time is it and i'm like oh it's 11 he's like fuck so i'm like what he's like i'll be right back i gotta get into my room like i'll be back i promise so i'm like okay then when he comes back he's like yo you know, we get a, a fine of X, Y, Z if we're not in our room by curfew. And I'm sitting here thinking to myself, like, you dumb ass nigga. There is no way in hell that I'm going to risk getting a fine just so that I can lay up in some fucking hotel with some girl. So the chemistry was really strong, though. And I feel like I see how we got there. I don't think it was like necessarily we were like, oh, yeah, let's fuck up the bag. I think it was more so like we couldn't. It was no self. It was a lack of self-control. Now, to Alex's point, the kid is young. You know, college, college, yeah, college, you party all night with all the girls. I get it. So I'm not going to, like, judge this guy. I feel like he deserves another chance. Um, now, granted, when we was doing what we do, was doing, there was no, like, COVID. COVID. So right. I get that. But I don't think they were thinking, like, oh, we're going to put people's right. lives in danger. And I think the point, like, so, like, they, since they shut down whole countries and whole states and whole then that's where it gets a little more serious for COVID. Because, like, at the end of the day, like, at that time, like you said, it was no COVID around. But when they're shutting down whole countries and Nike is shutting down, all these major corporations, Disney shuts down, like, they're going to, like, they're kind of like, we don't have to give you a second chance because this is a seriousness to the nation, to the country. Yeah. Like at this point. So it's like, why would we do that? Like, so I'm you know, not going to so lie. I, I, was, I don't judge him. I was contemplating. But, I was contemplating a couple of weeks ago on sneaking the, into the NBA bubble. That's the. I was. I was contemplating it. And, you know, I'm older. So I thought about it. And I'm like, that's stupid. But I, I was on the brink of. Her, like, I was going to do it. Trouble? Like, no. Because, because like no because but like, I was you know, I was like like you get in trouble in some places you get a fine for not wearing a mask yeah. so when you do that with the NFL I'm sure there's some penalties or some stipulations. the penalty like, is your nigga lost the bag the biggest <laughs> I think the biggest takeaway from this is how we are so selfish it's different from having sex with somebody unprotected because you're choosing your life right with Corona it's like it's so easily spread that when you bring somebody in the bubble you're all you're ultimately like give. Almost Chances, everybody has the quarantine. Everybody yeah. to now give it, right? Everybody and then, has the quarantine. And so what if I got COVID tested before I snuck in and I was free? They don't know that. They don't know that. No, I know. That's responsible. So what I will say is that's responsible and respectful, but but the fact the matter is like, yo, we have these guidelines for a reason. And if you yeah. fuck this up for yourself, you're not only potentially fucking up for yourself, you're fucking it up yeah. for everybody that's in the bubble one and then the entire nation because if everybody in the bubble got a... Uh, but do you get cut for that? Yes, because listen, if you bring somebody in, one person, it only takes one person, and everybody has to quarantine, mm -hmm. you're fucking it up for the entire nation. And we all know how important football is to our nation, like our beautiful nation. We all understand how important it is, right? Mm -hmm. Of course you're going to get cut. Like, that's dumb. Like, it's not even worth it because now you're being selfish and you're just not thinking. Yeah. Russell just had a whole new I kid. still was contemplating it and I'm like, yeah, I, I feel you though. Like, yeah, it's but he's so young. Like, Aww. oh he's so young. I think he deserves another chance. Yeah, the game, if the, C, if the Seahawks ever see this, give my man another chance. No, I definitely because, think he should get another chance. Yeah, I mean it's not it's he I mean I'm not gonna say he didn't know any better, but like, damn, like nobody got hurt. <laughs> Everybody's okay. Give the man another chance. Man, right, let's 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 get into this six nine shit. Six nine back to flexing. Oh Lord. Six nine flexing again. Such flexing a form ball. For the gram. I feel like we had this conversation so many times I don't even know what to say. It's like, yo, just he hasn't learned anything and I don't want to wish nothing bad on nobody, but 
crazy because just like how we said, like, you know, that the football player was young. I remember at a time I would say that all the time. Like, he's young. He doesn't know no better. You have experience like, now. Yeah, you know better. You were in Rikers, like, my man. Even like if you were on much, PC, you were in a Rikers. But, like, well, how, how much more of a – People got – you want to risk your People life, got – no. <laughs> just like we <laughs> talked about jeopardizing others' lives and how people are selfish, you have gotten – you got people sent away from their families for years. You know what I'm saying? Like – what is it going to take for you to be like, damn, like maybe I should not do, go about right. it this way. Right, right. That's a fact. No, nah, I think, um, you know, it's unfortunate because I, I will. Well, let's take, say what he did. Oh, so he went to, he went to uh, Chicago. Was it? He went LA. to LA. LA. He was in French French LA. Um, and Try to go to the marathon store. Right. He Flexing. But it was close. And Nipsey's Nipsey mural. Yeah. Saying, this is for Nipsey. He'd be proud of me. You know. First of all, that's extremely disrespectful because we all know that Nipsey – Lost his life because behind of standing snitch. on, yeah. because of a snitch behind standing on the real morals, street principles, code yeah. principles yeah. and morals that you do not associate with snitches. So for a a, a well known snitch to go to his mural and say he would be proud of him, first of all, just off that, like nigga, you need <laughs> you need your ass beat. Mm. I, I think um the fact that. Like, yeah, he went to Crenshaw, and he, it's like, it's nothing new, right? Because we did it before when he went to Chicago. The thing I don't like about it is, like, at one point, just to be honest, I kind of wanted him to learn. Like, I, I would have hoped that, like, he got out and really changed his life away. I changed his life around him, like, yo, that was the bad thing. That I shouldn't have did that, and you guys shouldn't do it. But the fact that he's not doing that, yeah, yeah, and some some sort of it is entertaining, but I'm past that. I don't think it's entertaining. Yeah, I say like I'm past. At first it's it was, it's but I'm past You're just it trolling. now. The trolling it's isn't corny. entertaining. Like, yeah, corny. and it's like, bro, like you're putting your own self at risk. You know what I just thought about? Risk. I'm thinking like, who in the hell is even enabling this man to keep doing this? Because he is like always number one, and and even after the snitching, he came out was number one. But I have to remember that kids. It's kids that are supporting this. My head. daughter, no, they love like trolls. trolls. They well, love yeah. trolls. It's because. And, when we were in New York, yeah, they loved Amaya trolls. tried to cut trolls on in Mike's truck, and he was like, uh, we can't play that. Not yeah. She was like, please. He was like, we can't no, play can't. that. Like, not kids, here. And they don't understand. <laughs> they don't understand. They just love the song. And that's yeah. the innocence. And it's that's crazy. The innocence. That's the innocence. But why he's doing it. it. You said the kids what? I said I don't know. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the kids don't know any better. The, yeah, they don't. Then the thing about it is, it's like, it's keep happening because money really isn't the root of all evil anymore. We know that. It's, it's attention. Clout. Right. Attention. So he's getting Vanity. the attention. So that's why he continues to do it because that's what's getting him the attention, which eventually is getting him the bag. So it's like, why would he stop other than because you want to keep your life and you want to be safe, but because he's done it before, he might think he could continue to do it because li literally but nothing really happened. Let's be real. That's with most people. A lot of the times, sometimes it's almost a bad thing that you got away with what you got away with because you didn't learn, and you will try it again. It's like a kid. If they get away with something, they're going to try it again. And that, and I want to, well, kind of to segue away from that, to take away, because I don't even want to give him no attention no more. The real, I feel like he's getting rewarded for what he did. Mm. And I feel like Schmurder, like when Bobby Schmurder comes out, he stood on 10. He's, he took the charge. He did his time. He didn't. We all know. I feel like he should be getting that but you know what's well, crazy? let's hope he does and the shock I mean, we'll the, the shock to me is that if he does get the attention that it will be surprising to me that's i think so too I, because i know because i think a lot of people like honestly it's not too many real niggas like right. most people they they're they're you know they're and, not a, they just have no and morals and principles on that that the real niggas don't get the shine though the they real, don't the real niggas it's been plenty of niggas that took time for their their mans and, and nobody cares i mean i could speak from experience, you know, my child's father, he had opportunities to, to rap and he, he wouldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? And trust me, it was tempting. I mean, we have a family, you know, he didn't do it. So I cannot respect people that do it because it's like, all right, I've witnessed somebody literally give their life away and they were offered a better situation. Now, did he participate in it? That's up for debate. We know 6 9 was participating in this shit too but it's like it's not even about the participation at this point at this point it's about your morals like i don't even understand how this man sleeps that night like honestly i couldn't be mad at my daughter's father because i'm like you a real nigga it's 2020 they offered you a better situation to give up some and you didn't do it you know what i'm saying but it's like all the people that he didn't tell on they're nowhere to be found they're they're not putting money on his books they don't call they don't do anything for my daughter so it's like it wouldn't surprise me you're right because most people 
aren't real. They're not solid. Right. So it's like the fact that he's coming home, really and, and if he does, if he does get the love, right, it'll be it'll be like damn, that's dope because he deserve it. Right? Well, I mean, shout but out. But you know what? Shout to say to, to say what you said thug. earlier though, real niggas don't seek recognition, mm. and I can respect that. Facts. But shout out to Young Thug because I I think I did see him say that he's gonna take care of Shmurda when he comes out of Roddy Rock. And I believe him. And I mean, yeah, nah. Shout out to Thug, yo. Um, six nine. He just gotta. He gotta chill. chill bro. But I mean, he's 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 gotta whatever. I mean, but it, it shows right, and I was gonna ask you this. When it comes to second chances, right? So, granted, it can go either way, right? But we were just talking about the guy on the football team for the Seahawks. It's like we want him to get a second chance. We give him a second chance for him to br- try to bring a, a girl in there again, and now everybody get COVID, yeah. right? And it's like situations like 6 9 fucks it up for the people for that everybody. will learn from their mistakes, right? Yeah. And I think that's the biggest takeaway from it. It's like, yo, we can't keep allowing these things to happen, but it's like at the same time, how do we not allow it to happen? Because we right. want to give people second chances, right? Right. And I mean, I don't know. That's just it's a fine line. Bro. I yeah. think, but I think, you know what? I think in a situation like that, he didn't really, it really wasn't his, it, he was already on like chance three or four when all that stuff happened. That wasn't the first time that he had been in a situation where he done got people in trouble and he faded to black. Nah, that's a fact. Well, uh, we're going to just pray for 6 9 <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Hey, um, 130, we good? We got our shits off? Um, that sums up episode 36. God damn, we almost to the point where we're going to like, forget the number. The number. Yeah. Gemini Scorpio Podcast, episode 36. Shout out to the gang. Uh, also, before we get out of here, shout out to Luke Belair uh, with the sponsorships. They always getting us right. Um, Black Bottle Boys, Catch 22 on the hookah. Um, here La Bay, Alexander LeBlanc, Miss yeah. Grinaway, Joseph D. Friend, Lante the Go, is it Lante the Base God? Uh, Isaiah, I think it's just that. Wyman well, J Productions, Gio the Leo. Um, the gang is here, man. We appreciate you. Gang, gang, uh, we out. It's a wrap. Love y'all.